last Thursday we, we, we preached, you know, about receiving the Holy Spirit and casting out devils. Because you can't do one without the other. We got, you know, in Acts 16, the seven sons of one named Sceva. Sceva actually in Greek means a high priest. That weren't his name. That was his office. He was a high priest, a religious high priest. And so these were really, and I'll preach more on this some other time too, but these were nothing but more and, li more and less just religious witches, religious magicians. Uh, it could be said today they, they were Christian witches. <laughs> there ain't no such thing. But they had Christianized their magic and their and their little spiritual things they were doing. And and they saw Paul cast demons out of people in the name of Jesus. So they thought, well, we'll just do what Paul does. See, they had all kind of other gods they called on to, other deities and dark things they would do. But let's add this Jesus that Paul preaches because he's got results. And so we'll go in there to that house where this, these demon-possessed people are. And we'll go in there and we'll adjure those demon-possessed you know, people and cast them devils out. They, they said they were exorcists. Do you realize that movie that come out in the 70s? The little girl in it, she died at 12. There's a curse on that movie. There's so many actors that was in, that have died, crazy deaths. That it's you. All you got to do is Google it. They believe there's a curse on it. There is. Hello, this stuff that Hollywood's putting out, and that so many people so caught up even during this time of the year. And I'll get into that this last Sunday morning. Amen. Where you know we expose Hall Halloween. Amen. But if there's something in you that desires and that thrills you and attracts you, it's because you ain't surrendered to the Holy Spirit. Because there's no way the Holy Spirit has anything to do with that that's connected to dark spirits, to evil spirits. Those two, he should grieve in you. It shouldn't excite you and thrill you. And if there's an appetite in you, come on somebody, to get around that that is gory and woo, spooky, 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 and it don't bother you, it turns you on. You need to get to the altar. You ain't sanctified. And please let me know if that kind of stuff turns you on because you sure won't get up here and do nothing. Because the Holy Ghost is still holy. Somebody say, welcome to a ghost-possessed house. A holy one. And so here they were. They were religious magicians, witches. And they did all kind of little incantations incantations, all kind of their little, you know, murmuring and, and, and peeping and muttering and, and, and so they said, well, we'll take this other God that Paul preaches. He preaches Jesus, so let's go try that. Because all them other gods they called on, it, it didn't ever work with the demon possessed. But they saw Paul casting these demons out in the name of Jesus and the demons would obey and they said, let's try this one. And so they went into that house. Somebody say the original haunted house. He's literal demon possessed, but I promise you, they ain't a haunted house nowhere. They man that people are putting on for people to go and have fun with fear. Come on, that demons are not. It's all they're all there. They're all there. They're they're all involved in it. They're it's all rooted in it. Amen. And you can't have the Holy Ghost in you and go to them places. If you do, you ain't got him in you. You are deceived. You need to repent and get your heart right with God. And I'll get on that stuff later. Got on a little bit right there. But in Acts 19, you know, when they come in there, the demon possessed speaks. I'm going to say the evil spirit speaks. Demons talk. If you don't believe it, watch the news and watch all them politicians. Demons talk every day and we're listening to them. You, you, all you got to do is tune into the White House. Demons talk every day. Hello? Anybody here, Holy Ghost? They talk all the time. Some that trash somebody was saying tonight while I was preaching. Yeah, they was talking. Amen. Oh, glory. But somebody say the evil spirit spoke and they said in verse 15 of Acts 19, they said, Jesus we know. Paul we know. But who are you? Them devils didn't know them seven sons of one Sceva. It didn't mean it was his biological sons. That was their, so to speak, spiritual father, their master. The one they were up under, this religious magician, this witch. Amen. Praise the Lord God. And so they, these were Jews too. It said they were Jews. So this meant they believed in Jehovah, but yet they practiced all this dark stuff, all this occultic things and witchcraft. And they thought they were going to go cast devils out. 
Just say in the name of Jesus. And you know what it said? Them demons leaped on them. Stripped them naked. That's how you know demonic principalities are behind nudity and porn and all that stuff. You ain't just watching porn. There's demons all around you wanting to come in you. Amen. When you watch that stuff. Hello? Little click of a Facebook reel and here you go. Somebody say welcome to the demonic world. Most people get filled with demons, get demon possessed by what they're gazing at. They don't even know the thing enters them. Amen. And then they're out of control. They can't stop what they do. Unless they get somewhere where there's a real Holy Ghost at work. And there's some real truth being preached. Because you won't compromise preaching the truth and cast devils out. You won't compromise living the truth and cast devils out. Uh, Mark 139, Jesus preached in their synagogues and cast out devils. Matthew 8, 16 said he, 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 with his word, he cast out demons. Somebody say, if you ain't got the right word, if you, if you compromise them with this book right here, if you playing around with it, that's why Marvin Booth, when God tells me to say it, I don't care who likes it, loves it, or lumps it. I don't care who don't come back. I care for them. I still care for every person that goes. Amen, glory to God. But I am not about to hold it back for nothing. Because when times come like two Sunday nights ago did, you see how quick that happened? Come on, somebody. You got to preach. You got to say it when people want it. You got to say it when they don't. Or you ain't got no power when it comes to that moment. I promise you. And I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of these places can't cast no devil out because they are compromising when it comes to preaching because they're too worried about who they're going to offend and who they're going to tell off or cause to flee out tick and flee somebody get there for a while. different kind of flea there but it fit <laughs> it's like somebody told me one time they said that's misspelled I said did you know what the word was could you pronounce it well yeah it says okay then. <laughs> that's common sense yeah, we'll fix it later, but it ain't as big a deal as you think it is. If you could pronounce it and you knew what it was, hey, what's the big deal? Thank you for telling us, but get over it. Let's go. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. So they couldn't cast the demons out, and they run out naked, embarrassed, and stripped. Somebody shot them demons, and then people leaped on them and tore their butt up. Run them out the house. But even in the midst of that, God was glorified and his word so mightily grew and prevailed, Acts 19, verses 21. Ain't that amazing? Even in the midst, amen, of double-mindedness and people playing around with God, God's word still prevailed and was glorified. God will use all the negative stuff, come on to, and get right in the middle of it all. He'll use it all, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and the ugly. Hallelujah, that's bad. <laughs> Oh, glory to God. Somebody say it, don't stop him. Don't stop. Amen. So, so, so devil showing up, don't stop the Holy Ghost. But, but here's the thing. Them demons. Somebody say a message from demons that we could learn from. They knew Jesus. They knew Paul. And the reason they knew Paul because Paul knew Jesus. Yeah. Me and Lynn was fishing the other afternoon. It was getting dark. She was out fishing me. That's fine. I just look at her catching them fish. We freezing them. Look like Eskimos. And I just laugh at her because it just tickled me watching her catching them fish. I said, I must not have the touch. And then finally, oop, we got us a double hookup. She was catching one and I was catching one. Hey, Amen. But I, I, something got brought up and I went to quote in Acts 19 verse 15. And I said, them demons said, Jesus I know and Paul I know, but who are you? And I said them same words. I said, the reason the demons could say Paul we know because Paul knew Jesus. And I said that, Brother Rob, the Holy Ghost come on me. I began to weep. I couldn't even see. Hey, Amen. Through my contact lenses at that moment. I didn't care about whether I caught a fish or not. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost just began to tremble through me. Hallelujah. And I said, oh, Lord, I don't want to miss knowing you. Somebody shot, that's the key. That's what the seven sons of one Sceva didn't have. They didn't have a relationship intimately with Jesus Christ. Somebody shot, that's the first step to evicting demons, having power over devils and darkness. You got to have a real relationship with Jesus Christ on a daily basis. You can't compromise in your walk with him. He's got to be first. He's got to be more important than anybody or you will not have have power over the devil and they thought they had power over demons just because they could say that name but somebody say they weren't called by the name jeremiah jeremiah declared it he said i am called by your name O lord god of hosts jeremiah 15 16 jeremiah taught us something i don't just call on his name when he calls me he calls me by his name because we're one i'm his 
Oh, glory to God. Somebody say, demons, know if you're his or not. I promise you. Demons will show you the hypocrite quicker than anything. They'll show you the phony and the fake and the make-believe. That's what we was talking about. I said, some people's belief, it, it's a make-believe. Come on, somebody. And, I, and that's what I said. I told her, I said, demons will pick up. If you make believe, if you playing around, if you pretend, you let the demon possess. Ain't nothing like the demon possessed showing up. The demon possess will bring them out. It'll show them what they really are. Amen. Glory to God. Because you, you, they'll pick up on that. They'll pick up on any sin. They'll pick up on any fear, any unbelief, anything. Amen. And, and they'll dominate that people or that church or those or those places hallelujah why because somebody say without receiving the holy ghost the person there'll be no power to receive because you receive power after that somebody say the person holy ghost has come on you acts one and eight somebody say receive him uh, and that word again receive means to go after him and seize him to run after him to pursue him it don't mean to idly sit around and wait on God it means to run after God hallelujah so everybody say my relationship with Jesus what is what empowers me to cast devils out to overpower demon spirits and that is dark amen that it's of the evil one hallelujah